Hello and welcome techies. I am Sambhav here. This is a seventh part on data type. And in the seventh part, we are going to talk about UUID data type in detail. We are going to understand what is an UUID, what are the characteristics of UUID, how can we use UUID data type in Postgres SQL in, uh, in order to generate unique values. We will also see some work or some functions across the UUID with some practical demo. In the previous video, we have already talked about the general data types in PostgreSQL. We have talked about Boolean data type, numeric data type, character data type, date time data type. In case you have not watched my previous videos on SQL, specifically on data types, please feel free to go ahead and check them out. I would leave the, I would leave the link in the description for you. Now, in today's session, we are going to talk about UUID data type. UUID data type stands for Universal Unique Identifier. The word itself says what is an UUID. It states that it is an Universal Unique Identifier. It means that this UUID data type is used to generate some unique values and uniqueness is maintained across the universe. Means it is very, very, very Unlikely that a UUUID number generated by you or by me can be generated by anybody else in this universe. So it maintains, it is a great example of generating unique values. This is a 28-bit uh, quantity. That means your UUID is a 128-bit quantity. And this unique uh, identifier is generated using some algorithms. In the back end there are certain algorithms which works in order to generate them. We will see how the algorithm uh, works in our upcoming sessions. So as I mentioned it is generated by an algorithm to generate some unique values and it is very unlikely that the same identifier will be generated by anyone else in this known universe using the same algorithm. Right now, you must be thinking, how does an UUID looks like? So, well, this is an example where uh, you can see this is how an UUID looks like. Uh, not about this 844412. I will talk about this a little later. But the value A0 EEBC99 hyphen 960B. This number which you are seeing is nothing but a classical example of UUID. Right now. <clears throat> In the previous video, we have also talked about serial data type. We have also discussed about uh, another data type called as serial data type, right? I hope you remember serial data type, right? Serial data type is used to generate integer values like 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. And the serial data type had an auto increment feature. That means automatically one will be generated. The next value will be incremented by one automatically to generate two. Similarly, the next value will be automatically incremented by one to generate three. And same way, next value will be again incremented by one to generate four. So this is how the serial data type works. In serial data type also, we have discussed that Sometimes, or you can say, uh, serial data types is also used to generate unique values, right? But this is not completely designed. This serial data type is not completely designed to generate a very, very unique value. Now, let me explain it to you with an example. Let's say, suppose I have a table called as TBL1, right? And there is another table called as TBL2. Now, in TBL, assume we have a column called as order number. Order number or order ID. And if I define this to be as a serial data type, if I define this to be as a serial data type, of course, it will generate integer values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Similarly, in table 2, another table, assume here we have a column called as customer ID, customer ID, and if this is also defined to be as a serial data type, then here also the value is going to be the same, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on and so forth. Now, I do agree the matter of fact that this is unique, 
this is unique in this particular table similarly these values are unique for table 2 for the customer ID but if I try to compare these two tables together table 1 and table 2 across the table that means now I'm comparing the values across the table then definitely these values are not unique right then definitely these values are not unique so I so that's why we have also discussed in the serial data type yes of course it can generate unique values unless the users do not fiddle with that but still still the uniqueness cannot be maintained across the table or across the database that is the major problem with the serial data type so in order to solve this problem we have another data type called as UUID UUID which stands for universal unique identifier universal unique identifier that means the UUID number or the value generated once it is very 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 unlikely that the same number can be generated by anybody else in this universe right that is why I have mentioned that for the distributed system these identifiers provide a better uniqueness guarantee than sequence generator which are only unique within a single database sometimes this can be asked in your interview questions that if serial data type is capable of generating unique value why do we need UUID or the question could be can you state the difference between UUID and serial data type or which data type guarantees uniqueness more gar guarantees more uniqueness or better uniqueness right so you must be ready with these answers I have already explained uh, what is the difference between the serial data type I mean how serial data type behaves and why they are not unique right across the table across the da database they're definitely not unique now let's talk about the UUID data the UUID value so this is an UUID value there are few important things which you should remember about the UUID data type let me just clear this piece thank you now when we talk about UUID data type they are always represented in groups you will notice here these values are represented in groups so this is first group of value this is second group of value this is third group of value fourth group of value and fifth group of value there are five groups basically I can say this is group one this is group two this is group three group four and group five right now each of the grouped values are always separated using a hyphen you can see here there is a hyphen separator here let me just change my color so you can see here there is a hyphen separator there is a hyphen separator or a minus sign separator so each of these groups are separated using a hyphen now the first group always consists of eight digits one two three four five six seven eight the first group will always have eight digits the second group will have four digits the third group will have four digits the fourth group will have four digits and the fifth the last group will have 12 digits so the total digits if you look for any UUID value the total number of digits is always 32 digits 32 digits and in order to store this 32 digits or UUID value 128 bits is required 128 bits of memory is required that is what we have seen here 128 bits of memory space is required in order to store that so we have already discussed the total number of digits for the UI UUID is 32 and these values are hexadecimal digits when you see this these values are hexadecimal digits now when we talk about the hexadecimal digits hexadecimal hexadecimal digits so uh, for example let's say if I talk about binary digits right binary digits are of two digits right which is 0 and 1 similarly the uh, decimal digits which we are talking which we already use for our reference this is always for 10 digits so 0 1 2 3 4 5 up to 9 right so all the values which we use are always represented by these nine digits similarly the hexadecimal digits consist of numbers starting from 0 1 2 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then A, B, C, D, E, and F up to F. So you see here we have one, two, so this makes it 10 digits, 11 digits, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Means any digit, let's say for example, uh, if I say I want to represent, uh, let's say 10, right, as a binary digit. So what will you do? You will say two fives are 10. And then since it is completely divisible by two, so you will make it zero again, two twos are four, right there is a remainder here you carry it one two ones are one so this is how you represent one one zero so on, so on and so forth for binary digit similarly 10 can also be represented in the form of hexadecimal digits and when it comes to hexadecimal digits these are the numbers using which it can be represented starting from zero to nine and then alphabets also are used these alphabets are in lowercase a b c d e f so in order to uh, create this UUID, always remember this is in the form of hexadecimal digits. That's why you see alphabets B, B, C, right? Maximum alphabets you can see is up to F because that's the that's how the hexadecimal digits are represented, right? Now, so you have understood what an UUID data type is, what is a use, and how does it actually look like. Now the problem with the PostgreSQL is that it does not have an internal function for generating UUID values. When you are dealing with UUID data type in PostgreSQL, PostgreSQL does not have an internal function for generating these UUID values. So what PostgreSQL does is, what PostgreSQL does it, it relies on a third party module which is called as UUID OSSP. So, uh, uh, PostgreSQL basically uses a third party module which is called as UUID OSSP which is nothing but an algorithm and this algorithm is actually used to generate this value. So PostgreSQL uses, uh, uh, sorry, it uses UUID OSSP. So this is also an interview question. Sometimes in the interview, they might ask you which algorithm or which module is used in PostgreSQL to generate this uh, value. So your answer should be UUID OSSP. Now, since we do not have, this is not an inbuilt function of PostgreSQL. So we will have to bring this in Postgre. That means we'll have to import this. So how do we do that? We do that by using this command, create extension if not exist. So here it is pretty easy, create, this is basically we tell that we are importing an extension so we say create extension uh, if you uh, if you are uh, importing it for the first time you may use it you may not use it right if not exist uuid ossp now if you have already imported it right and if you are just create, uh, executing the command create extension uuid ossp sql might throw error so in order to suppress that error, we use this keyword, if not exist. That means if you have already imported the extension and if you're trying to re-import it, so SQL might throw an error. So in order to suppress that error, we use this keyword, if not exists, if not exists, right? Now, <clears throat> let, us, let us try importing this. So we will also do some practical to understand this. So the first thing is that we are trying to install the UUID extensions. So let me execute this. And it says notice extension UUID OSSP already exists, skipping create extension. So it is just giving you a notice. It is not throwing any error. You see here query returned successfully in 130 milliseconds. So what has happened is we have created this extension in case if you're doing it for the first time. So what PostgreSQL will do is it will pull this, it will import this UUID OSSP extension so that you can use it for creating your UUID values. Now, there are few more things to import for us to understand. Now, when we talk about this UUID values, now there are two versions of it. They are basically two versions of it. Okay, sorry, my bad. Now there are basically two versions of it for UUID values. The first version is called as version one, UUID 
version 1 and UUID version 2. We will talk about these two versions shortly, right? Now, these are the two versions, right, which uh, UUID provides version 1 and version 2. There is not there is nothing called as version uh, uh, sorry not version two my bad this is version four we have two versions which is version one and version four there is nothing called as version two version three version five we do not have any such versions right now what is this version what is the meaning of this version let us understand now when we talk about first version that means UUI, UUID version one. So, in this version, the unique identifiers are generated based on using three logics. Three logics. First one is using your system's MAC address. MAC address. The second one is the timestamp. Timestamp. And the third one is your random numbers that means some random numbers are generated means if you are generating an uuid of version 1 in order to generate the uuid values these three entities will be used that means it will use the mac address of your system it will use the timestamp at which you are generating it and it will also include some random numbers to create your uuid value that is about version 1 talking about version 4 version 4 is straightforward that means all the 32 digits all the 32 digits are completely random in nature they are completely random in nature so all the 32 digits which you will be generating are completely random in nature whereas in version 1 version 1 in order to generate the 32 digit uh, UUID it uses the MAC address the algorithm basically the algorithm basically uses your MAC address it uses the timestamp value and some random numbers that is a major difference between version 1 and version 4 you must be mindful that there is nothing called as version 2 version 3 version 5 version 6 I have never seen them okay so we have version 1 and then directly version 4 I hope you have understood the difference between these two versions this is also an important question for your interview so you should be mindful about this now how do we generate them how do we generate UUID so you see here it's very simple we use select and then we use UUID underscore generate underscore version so this is a function this is a function which is used to generate UUID so this is a function which is used to generate your UUID of version 1 similarly this is a function which is used to generate UUID of version 4 so the command is very simple UUID generate version 4 this is basically a function function and you can use the select statement so let me execute the first value the first statement to see how my UUID looks like so you see here it has generated the UUID value let me zoom in a little bit and show you so this is your UUID value 8 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 12 total four digits now you would be surprised that even if I execute the same statement even if I execute the same statement it will generate a different UUID so you see here our UUID basically looks like 788-74BCC uh, 0 d78 something let me re-execute this now if i execute this you see the uuid value has changed each time you generate each time you generate a uuid value it keeps changing right and as we know that the version one uuid generate version one function the algorithm uses the three components to generate their mac address timestamp and random numbers Similarly, you can also generate a UUID based on version 4. The algorithm is, uh, the version 4 algorithm says that this number is completely random in nature. Completely random in nature. It does not use, uh, you know, the algorithm does not use the logic of MAC address and timestamp and so on. It is completely unique in nature. Now, if I re-execute it, again, you know that this value will change. Anytime I execute 
the same anytime i execute you will always see a unique value a different value the number which was never generated before that is the reason that is the reason why uuid are set to produce you know guaranteed unique values now if i execute this you see i have generated uh, both the numbers uh, uuid numbers uh, together one is for version 1 and one is for version 4 right so i hope you have understood what is uh, how to generate uuid values so we use a function uuid generate version 1 uuid generate version function version 4 and you have also i hope you have also understood what is the difference between version 1 and version 4 right so version 4 it is purely random numbers now let us do some more practical and let's see how do we deal with this now here i am creating a table here i am creating a table let me clear this up and let me copy this create command uh, uh, let me sorry my bad so let's do one thing let's let's bring this uh, create table command here so that i can explain it to you what is exactly happening here right so let's bring this here now if you look at this create table command you would notice that there are there are i am trying to create a table called as uuid table 1 uuid underscore table 1 which has got four columns prod id product name prod code 1 and prod code 2 so four columns i am generating prod id i am marking to be as a serial data type so that each time insert a row it will produce an integer value and auto increment it from the previous value second one is prod name which i will be using to you know to enter some product name so i have kept it as a varchar for of 100 length now prod code prod code is of prod code 1 product code 1 and product code 2 is of uuid data type now the difference between the third and the fourth is the third and the fourth column is for product code 1 and product code 2 is i am making product code 1 column for the default value to be uuid version 1 that means i do not have to explicitly generate uuid value for product code 1 why because i am defaulting what i am default defaulting this particular function which means that Anytime I insert a value, automatically a new UUID value will be generated based on version 1 logic and by default it will be stored in that particular row. Whereas in product code 2, I am only defining UUID column data type but I am not defaulting any value. That means I will have to explicitly insert value in this particular column i will have to explicitly insert so that's the reason i have created this table in such a way where you can learn both the methods how to default that particular column and how to you know manually insert your values uh, at the time of table creation so let me clear this up since we don't need this let me clear this up now so let me execute this query to create this table bingo the table has got the table is ready for us but of course there is no value because we have not inserted any value so as i discussed earlier this table has got four columns product id product name product code and product code 2 sorry product code 1 and product code 2 now i am trying to insert the value here i am trying to insert value here so in this insertion in this insert statement you would notice that i am let me just bring this over here so that I can show it to you. Yeah. So you would see here, I am trying to insert the values into my table, right? So I have used an insert statement into the table name and I am only inserting for two columns, product name and product code two. Now, I'm not inserting any value for product ID because it's a serial data type, which we have defined here at the time of table creation so automatically the value will be generated here for product name i am inserting these values like mobile tv computer tablet and all for product code one again i am not inserting any value the reason is because i hope you remember we have created a default value of it means anytime a row is inserted a uuid version one value will be generated and it will be by default stored in this particular 
uh, column. But for product 2, I am inserting the value. Now, how do I insert the value? The process of insertion is very simple. I have to generate the value. So you would notice here, I am generating this value. Every time I am generating this value, UUID generate version 4. We have discussed this earlier that this is a function which is used to generate the value. So this is version 4 for computer also I am generating UID version 4, 4. But I am doing it for product code 2, not for product code 1. Now let's execute this statement and let's see what value is getting inserted into our table, right? Now let me execute this query to see the value. Now you would notice here that my rows have been inserted successfully. For product code 1, the default value generation has worked very well and these values are version 1. These values are generated from version 1 algorithm whereas for product code 2 I have generated using version 4 algorithm, right? You might notice some amount of uh, difference in these two values as well, right? So let me do one thing. Let me bring this uh, here so that we can understand the difference. Let me remove everything from here and let me bring it up here. So you would notice that these two values, they even though they are unique, but they are they look little different this they are slightly different if you notice here for example you would notice here this which was generated based on version one so basically let me write this first so that you are not confused so this was generated based on algorithm version four right now version one if you remember it it this value is getting generated based on certain inputs like my system's mac address uh, timestamp value timestamp value and then some random numbers right then some random numbers whereas version 4 is purely random this is purely only on random numbers now if you look at this that means version 1 which is being generated on based on certain uh, al a lo a certain logic which is MAC address timestamp and random that means the algorithm working under the hood of version 1 is using this method. So you would see there is a slight uh, similarity between each of the values. You can see here 7F, 742F, 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 these all are same, similar values, right? You see here, there is some similarity. Why? Because this is generated based on certain logic. But of course, they are not same. You can see the other values, they are completely different, C18, right whereas if you look at product code 2 which was generated based on version 4 algorithm this is purely in uh, purely a random number there is no i mean uh, you cannot see any kind of similarity you will not be able to build relationship between this but if you see for version 1 there is some sort of relationship yes so if you ask me completely random numbers if you want to generate so in case if you have a requirement where you want to generate an uuid which should be completely random in nature completely random in nature then you must be using version 4 otherwise you are also good to use version 1 uh, of course it uses some logic but still it produces a very unique value each value is very unique right now 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 <clears throat> We have noticed that product code 1, the default value, we have defaulted this to uh, UUID generate version 1. That means while creating the table itself, we have said that, hey, listen, SQL, whenever I'm inserting, please default the value, right? That means automatically generate this. So does it mean that we as a user cannot generate value for this? Means if we have defaulted a value of the column is it that we as a user cannot insert no we can insert so you will see here in this case I am inserting value for product code 1 which is defaulted at the time of table creation it means even though I have defaulted a particular column to generate some values based on certain functions still the user has right to insert the value so you see here I am inserting the value into product code 1 and even though I have defaulted it 
to generate based on version 1 but still I am inserting the value based on version 4. You would notice here UUID generate version 4 in and I am also using version 1. So in 1 for tennis, tennis product name uh, I am using version 4 and for football product name I am using version 1. So if we use this kind of mixed versioning to generate the UUID, is it possible for us to do that? Is it possible to generate values like this for the column which has been defaulted? Let's check it out. So I have executed, oops, my bad. I am, let me execute this query. Let me execute this query. Wow. The query has returned successfully. That means my query has got executed, which means, which clarifies that even though you have defaulted a column with a particular value, you can overwrite that at the time of insertion if required. If required, you can definitely overwrite it, right? Now, second thing is that, can I change it? Can I change the uh, you know, uh, algorithm type basically from version 1 to version 4. Is it possible? Can we do that on the fly? Yes, of course. What I'm saying is, since we know that this product 1, this UUID are generated based on version 1. But over the period of time, I realize, okay, that's fine. But now I want to have version 4. I don't want to go along with version 1 anymore. I want to go along with version 4. So can I change it on the fly? Can I change? Let's say, for example, after inserting few rows, I decide, okay, since I realize that version 1 has certain pattern, but I always wanted to have complete random numbers. So I want to switch to version 4. So can we do that? Yes, of course we can do that. You have to use a alter table command you have to use a alter table command. I'm sorry, my bad. Uh, you have to use an alter table command. So this is how the command looks like. Oops, right? So let me expand it a little bit so that it is visible to you. All you need to do is, this is a very simple thing. All you need to do is you have to use an alter table command, alter table table name so my table name is UUID then I'm saying alter column now which column I want to change in this example I'm changing to let's say prod code 2 right so I gave an example of uh, for product code 1 but in this example I'm changing prod code 2 that means this I have inserted version 4 but now I want to insert version 1 right so what I'm doing and I'm also setting this to be as a default value because I feel that I don't want to generate it manually every time. So I am saying, okay, let me also default this value the way I have done for prod, uh, product code one at the time of table creation. So I am using set default and I'm setting the UUID version type, which is version one. So this will generate a unique identifier, universally unique identifier based on version one algorithm. So if I execute this, if I execute this, definitely uh, things will change. Now, <clears throat> let, me ins let me insert the value. Now I'm inserting an only for product name because I have uh, already uh, set product code as a default value for version one. And then using an alter statement, I have also set default values for UUID version one. Now let me execute this so that I can insert the value. And now if I look at my table, if I look at the values of my table, you would see here that these values have been generated successfully. You see, these values have been generated successfully. That is why you are noticing that the value of product code two has also started following some pattern which product code one was doing, which was under the version one, the algorithm which it has used. Since we have changed this from version four to version one, so you are also noticing this value right I hope this part is completely clear to you you might have uh, uh, you might have got an idea of what an UUID is how to use them how to import the module how to work with it and all those things I hope you have enjoyed this video you I hope you have learned what an UUID is thank you so much for your time and patience and if you want to continue learning data science machine learning artificial intelligence with me 
do like and subscribe my channel and hit, hit the bell icon so that you get the notification whenever I upload the video for you. Thank you so much.